I've always had the impression that the praying mantis isn't praying for its own redemption, but rather praying to eat me. A relatively large insect known to most as a great predator is the praying mantis. These fearless sit and wait predators have great camouflage. They are the only insects that can look over their shoulders. Their pupillated eyes and tendency to stare while sizing you up as a potential meal really creeps you out. Worldwide, there are about 2,000 species put into eight different families. This leaf mantid is found in the hot, wet lowlands of Costa Rica. Like all mantids, it has those iron lady legs, more technically called raptorial forelegs. Mantids also have leathery forewings, an ultrasonic ear on the thorax, and the male genitalia are asymmetrical. Hey man, how's it hanging? To the left, always to the left. While many gardeners think that praying mantids will eat all garden pests, in truth, they eat both the good and the bad guys. They just love those crunchy leg stick appetizers. That's right, eat the whole flyhead, because there are all those starving mantids in Africa. Even lizards have to watch out for hungry mantids. According to those idiots that make impossible extrapolations, if a mantid could grow to this size, a walk in the garden could be fatal. Ouch! Who would want to eat a spittle bug? Gross. Among insect urban legends, the praying mantids have a few, mostly about sex. There's the story of the female eating the male during copulation. One theory about this is that the female gives the male a lobotomy of that part of the brain that controls the inhibitions, after which he's a much better lover. A more reasonable idea is that the extra protein will help develop strong offspring. The famous Full Nelson Love Lock. So guys, those urges can get you whacked. Surely there are many reasons for deserving decapitation. The down and dirty can be quite festive. The female eventually lays a frothy secretion that hardens to form an egg case. A mated female can lay more than one egg case, depending on how much food she gets and how long she lives. This foamy egg case is also characteristic of the order. Numerous mini mantids hatch out and fend for themselves. Mantid means soothsayer from the Greek, and some believe they have occult powers. In the Amazon, according to some tribes, the sex of an unborn child can be told by putting a mantid next to the pregnant mother. If the insect jumps, it's a boy. But if it just moves its leg, it's a girl. The cleaning routine never stops.
mantids have several defense strategies, such as don't move, stay cool, and sway with the wind. Another is to hightail it out of town. Then there's the tough guy intimidation ploy. But their main defense is that great camouflage. Mantids are ferocious. And remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. Adults have wings, but those of the male are well developed while those of the female are short and sexy. The flower mantids are well known from the Asian tropics, where they mimic flowers, but here they're less flamboyant. Whoa, he drank way too much coffee. This is good advice for people, but the mantids commandment is thou shalt kill, kill, and kill all the time. No, 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 it's an ambush! Don't move! <laughs>